the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are, it is good to be back. Uh, we're going to get into some Golden Boy news. Um, we're going to get into, you know, their new matchmaker, Zola Ramirez versus Gabe Rosado is in the works. I want to touch on that. I'll give you my thoughts on that. Before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Um, Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the greatest and latest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. It's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery, so please like, uh, please subscribe to that channel as well. Support the cause. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, let's get into it. Gabe Rosado and Zoto Ramirez in the work for 175 pounds. At, at first, look, it sounds bad, but not terrible. Like, it's – there are worse comeback, get-back fights than Gabe Rosado. Um, Zordo Ramirez is coming off his first career loss to Paval. A fight he did okay in, but lost wide, you know. We like Zoto Ramirez. He's a big fighter. He's a fun fighter. He's an action fighter. He's not at the level of Baval, right? And and that was evident. I thought um, Zoto did as good as he could, fought as well as he could. He fought to the game plan. He did what he was supposed to. He's just not as good as Baval. It's pretty simple. Um, Gabe is always in a good fight, right? Gabe's always, oh, <laughs> the Jacobs fight. Let's curb that. Um, the Gabe Rosado fight wasn't. Terrific. Um, you know, Gabe has a record of 26 to 16. He's lost three fights in a row. Um, the last one wasn't great. The, the Mosley, oh, uh, to be fair, that same Mosley fight at the Alamo Dome almost a year ago was, was pretty awful, too. That was pretty terrible. Um, he's done some stickers lately. And then he came back and lost wide to Ali Akhmadov. Um, you know, Gabe's been in a million wars, and, and that's what I'm saying. At, at, at first sight, this isn't terrible until you dig a little deeper. You know, he got the win over Malkuziev after he got robbed against Jacobs. Um, you know, he he, he had that back and forth war with Slisky you know, in, in 2019 before the pandemic, um, and then he came back post pandemic and had the, 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 the fight with Jacobs. Um, it's gotten to him now. I, I think the age has gotten to him. I, I think he is a shot fighter, and we don't like to say that about Gabe, but he's 37. He's got 16 losses. He's 26, 16, and one. That is 43 fights, and most of them blood and guts. You know, Gabe is a fun fighter. He gave us, he gave us, a, you know, a really, really fun career, a lot of good fights. Um, but those days are past. Those days are gone. Um, and not to mention, he, he starts at 54. 68, he's undersized. 60, his best work is at 60. Zoro Ramirez is a massive 175-pounder. He's going to weigh 200 pounds in that fight. He's going to outweigh Gabe by, I say, 20 pounds in the ring. So you got Zoro Ramirez. Bigger, stronger, younger against Gabe, who's washed and small and old. I don't love this fight. I I, I don't. I, I just, there are better fights to be made than this. You could have got him better names. Um. I, I don't know exactly what you're looking for, but there are better fights than this. I, I I think Danny Jacobs is washed. 
you know, uh, I, I thought Jacobs probably deserved the decision in Ryder, at least a draw. I thought he won the first six rounds. They might have lost the last six. Um, I thought he didn't deserve the fight with Rosado. You know, it, there are better fights to be made than than this. I, I know you don't want to give sort of anything, you know, crazy tough. It's a comeback fight coming off his first loss, you want to get him right, you want to get him a win. And I, I totally understand that. You know, Zoro Ramirez fought a lot of guys who you kind of like, eh, you know. Um, but coming off that Baval fight, I just want to get something different. Though. I mean, the game fight, it's a bad look. It really, really is a bad look. Given the size difference, you know the age difference, and uh, you put that all in, and like this could end up bad. You know, Gilberto Ramirez is forty-four and one. He's got one loss. Yeah, a lot of his wins. You, you you go through his resume. A lot of his wins are not the best names in the world, but he's got plenty of good names on his resume. You know. What 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 what's the purpose? What's the upside in fighting somebody so much smaller than him? You can go through the 175 pound rankings and find a 175 pounder. Craig Richards, how's that? It's a 175 pounder. Lyndon Arthur, there, there, there's a 175 pounder. But like you can kind of go through the names and find a veteran who you can beat. Who can give you decent work? Who's I, I get it, and, and, and they want to build the Puerto Rican Mexican thing. They have Gabe. Gabe's exciting. Gabe sells tickets, but you can use Gabe for other fights. You don't need to put him in with a guy this much bigger than him. Like I said, there are other names that you could use. You want to give Charles Force is a thirty-two year old prospect who's never gotten a big opportunity. You let let Charles Force take a shot with them. If Gilberto Ramirez can't beat Charles Forster, Gilberto Ramirez is done. You know, I have an Italian fighter, Adriano Sperandino. I would love to see that fight. You know, but there are, are guys that you could put in there who, who would make an interesting fight, who would lose. So you, you get Ramirez work, you get him an opponent, Gabe Rosado. It's too old and too small and too washed for this fight. I really, really don't love this fight. I really, really don't love this fight. Um, One seventy-five. You could get him. Well, I wouldn't do that either. Eddie Ortiz from San Antonio. I don't know if he would do seventy-five. Okay, that's a smaller guy. But my point is, that there's guys that you can put in there. Names, value that you could you could give him. Gabe's going to get washed in this fight, right? Like, again, at first sight, it's like, okay, Gabe's going to put up a good fight. No, Gabe's not going to put up a good fight. Gabe's washed. He's small. He's old. He's not. Danny Jacobs would be a better fight. You know, but why not just get him a 175-pounder? Like, there are one size, just name the bunch. There are 175. You know, Gilberto Ramirez is a cruiserweight. Gilberto Ramirez is talking about fighting as a heavyweight. He's a big, huge guy. Gabe is not. Um, I, I, I get it. Like, it, it, there's appeal in this fight to, to the you know, fight fan. It's it, There's name value. Gabe is a fun fighter, a warrior. You know, I, I, I imagine it's going to be a slugfest as long as it lasts, but we all agree that Gabe's going to get knocked out in this fight. It's not going to end well for him, right? Again, it's not the worst fight in the world. It's just why do this to Gabe at this point in his career? If, if he wants one more fight, get him a guy at 60 or 68, someone his size. Instead of the biggest 175 pounder I'd ever seen in my life. You know, Gabe did okay with Mungia. I just think that you you could do gay better than this. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm not thrilled with this fight. 
You know, I, I think Ramirez walks him down, breaks him, chops him down. I think Gabe is too going to be too brave for his own good. It's going to go on longer than it should. Yeah, you know, they, you know, they wouldn't put Malakuzi in this fight. They wouldn't put McGee in this fight if you're Golden Boy, right? If you're Golden Boy, you wouldn't put those guys in this fight. Why put Gabe in it? You want to give Gabe a fight? Put him at 160 with Alex from Cohen. There's a fight. He's not a 168. He's his game is small at 68. Why is he going to 75? I, just, I, I, I don't like. I don't love this. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave me a thought. Comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing. 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Um, like I said, leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, these guys just like this. You got a bad feeling about this fight? Um, it is January 31st. Ah, it's January 31st already. Uh, 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.